morning friends it is a month-long grocery shopping day I'm a little bit late this month actually cuz I just didn't have time to go grocery shopping our schedule has been crazy with end of year or end of season sports and marching band and all the things so finally able to do it I'm here at Sam's Club waiting for my pickup order and then even before I started I did actually go to Dollar Tree and I went to look for um, crossword puzzles, Sudokus, word searches for this um, thing that the kids are doing at church that they needed them for. And then also I dropped off a basket of um, old clothes to Once Upon a Child. I love going there and dropping off clothes, old clothes of the kids. So I did that and now I'm just waiting for Sam's Club. Then on the list today is Aldi and Meyer because I couldn't get my pickup order to Walmart. I couldn't get it in in time. So these people are looking at me really weird next to me. <laughs> oh, who cares? Okay. Uh, I will check in with you after I make it to Aldi. All right. Made it uh, to Aldi. I actually did have to go into Sam's Club for a couple of items that they said that they were out of, but they actually were inside. That just happens sometimes at Sam's Club. I think it matters like when you place your order whether they, I don't know, if they get a shipment in the next day or something, I don't know. But they had those items, which I was very happy about. So now I'm gonna go into Aldi, and I am actually pressed for time because I gotta get back and pick up Journey from Band. So I gotta be fast about this. So let's see how quickly I can do it. All right, I had my friend graciously pick up my daughter because I was not gonna make it to pick her up and get all the grocery shopping done. So I went into Aldi, swung back through Once Upon a Child and picked up my items that they didn't want and then um, made it to Meijer. I was so hungry that I opened up a package of sushi and ate it inside Meijer before I paid for it. <laughs> I did pay for it. Um, but do you ever do that? I think it's completely fine to do that, 100%. As long as you're gonna pay for it. There's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, we are headed home now, and I'm gonna lay everything out. I get buckled. <sighs> We're gonna lay everything out. I'm pooped. It was a hard shopping day because people were out in droves. I don't know what the deal was today, but um, let's go home and I will show you everything I got. We're starting with Sam's Club. I feel like I'm missing some stuff, but maybe not. I did end up getting some ground beef while we're waiting on our cow. And I got almost 10 pounds for $34.46. These are my favorite snacking cheeses. One box of goldfish, one box of Cheez-Its. This is the bread that Jason likes and it goes in the freezer nicely. These just look good to me, just some pre-cut celery sticks. I'm doing something different for lunch for homeschool days, so some like snack plates and stuff, so those just sounded good. Hard salami. I got a lot of butter because I'm almost completely out of butter, and with the holidays coming up, I just want to make sure that I have butter. So both kinds of that. Cream cheese. I was happy that they had this back in stock. This is breakfast sausage which is cheaper than bacon, actually, and we like this breakfast sausage. I haven't bought press and seal in a really long time, but for holiday baking and stuff, um, and taking food other places, this is my favorite thing to use. One thing of avocado oil, I always get that. Cashews were on sale. Jason and I really like cashews, so I got those. Two things of Tostitos, because Walmart did not have the chips that we like. And I didn't actually end up going to Walmart because I couldn't get a pickup time. So, one thing of sharp cheddar, one thing of coconut milk, and some of this actually came in the mail, which is always weird to me why mine didn't have the coconut milk here in store. Two things of almonds. Jason and I really like these, and I'm trying to keep some of these down in my food storage as well. We needed body wash, and like I said, I wasn't going to Walmart this time, so I just got the 
name brand stuff. This I'm super excited about. So 30 Zevias was 16 something. Um, so it's almost 50 cents a can and the cheapest I can ever find Zevia is like 80 cents a can, but they're usually like a dollar. So I got two of these and now I won't feel so bad um, hoarding them. I will let the kids have some now. One thing of beef broth. This was one thing that I noticed that really went up. This is for my food storage. I do use it for lunch and stuff too. This used to be nine something and it was 11 something this time. This was an item I had to go inside the store for. Said they didn't have any, but they did. So one is for packing Journey's lunch and that thing. And then one we're gonna make um, homemade air fryer mozzarella sticks. And so I got some extra just to have for that. And then with all of the holiday baking and stuff, I went ahead and got the big giant gallon bag. Again, I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Um, oh, there was a bag of water softener salt. Uh, maybe this is it. I don't know. If I find some more stuff, I'll show you. All right, I found my missing things in a freezer bag. So this is a big 10 pound bag of bone skinless chicken breast. I just decided to get that this time. And then these are the burgers that we like to get. And they're very good actually. And um, we're mostly gonna be having these for lunch this month actually. Okay, here is Aldi. Starting down here, I just am replenishing all of my various storage bags and such. I wanted to get ahead of the baking items, so I got some chocolate chips. This is the best brownie mix. It makes really good brownies. And we use avocado oil, and they're delicious. Two giant things of potatoes. I'm in charge of mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, so just wanted to go ahead and get those. These are like Pringles. Um, the kids really like them. Various different chip pretzel options. They have these holiday the rings that they have every once in a while, actually only around the holidays. I realized I didn't have any egg noodles in my food storage and we do use egg noodles once in a while. So I got one for this month and then a couple of bags for food storage. I'm really wanting green bean casserole for some reason. So I got that. Crushed tomatoes, refried beans. There's this really yummy um, tamale a uh, casserole that I'm actually gonna make um, a recipe from one of my favorite youtubers actually and it just sounded really delicious and you mix up a cornbread with this cream style corn to put on the top um, one thing of black beans I really like this shaky cheese it's good for food storage too because it's shelf stable I actually saw these and I don't have any sort of creamy sauce down in my food storage, so I thought, oh, that would be a good thing, um, you know, to have that's different than spaghetti sauce, so I got that. I've been getting, I've switched over to the pure cane sugar, and I like it a whole lot better, so I got a bag of sugar. These were new and just looked really interesting, um, so I got those for myself. I hope they're good. Ketchup. This is just like Frank's Red Hot. Peanut butter, giant thing of peanut butter, a couple things of um, green olives, and then I just happened to remember that I just used the last of my balsamic vinegar, so I was happy. Um, Aldi doesn't always have stuff like this, so I was happy to find that. I saw a couple of turkey gravy mixes, and I don't really use gravy mixes all that much, um, but I do like to mix the turkey drippings with a gravy mix to get a good gravy. And then this is for Mississippi pot roast. So I like to keep one of those on hand. This is my favorite linguine from Aldi. Then I have various crackers. These are just like wheat thins, triscuits, club crackers, because we're doing a different lunch schedule. So I wanted to have those. Journey really likes these cherry, like Nutri-Grain bars. She said they taste like cherry pie. So. I got her a couple of those, and then I got a couple boxes of granola bars, some feminine products, 
Um, one box of crap cereal for each of them. Jericho likes this one. Julia got this one, and Journey likes life. So, I use this in my laundry and everything. So a big thing of white vinegar. One thing of sourdough. I'm actually gonna be making my own sourdough. I have a starter coming, so I'm hoping to master that. Hamburger buns. I will actually put these in the freezer because those are gonna be for lunch. Low carb wraps, and then two artisan flatbreads. They come with two in each one, and we like to make lunch pizzas out of them. One thing of milk, grapes, um, carrots, these little mini peppers just sounded really good. Lettuce, I'm gonna be making a cheese ball. And then I usually just freeze, I chop them up and freeze the rest of them and add them to like cooked recipes and they're totally fine. Um, the cheese ball though is very yummy and it will go well with all those crackers. So cucumbers, um, iceberg lettuce, the pomegranates just looked really good, so I got two pomegranates. My kids all actually really like pomegranates. Onions, four things of eggs. I want to do some more either deviled eggs or keep some hard-boiled eggs in the fridge. This was sort of a splurge because I was looking for chicken broth, and this caught my eye, and it really had the best ingredients, and so... Um, that looked good. It was more expensive though. Shredded hash browns, curly fries. These were like a special. Chicken breast fillets. We're gonna do like an air fryer lunch once a week, so that's why I got that stuff. Five things of sour cream. This is one of my favorite cheeses. Truffle cheddar cheese. It's so yummy. And then I also like these as well to do like a snack plate. Half and half for my coffee. I was happy to see that they had heavy whipping cream back because they don't always have heavy whipping cream. And then roasted red pepper hummus. That'll be good for packing um, lunches and or having the snacks. And then I went ahead and got split chicken breasts. I'm going to bake them, pull all the meat off, and then make bone broth with the bones. This caught my eye because I could they didn't have any ham lunch meat. And ordinarily I would not pay $8.79, but $3.49 a pound is still way less than lunch meat, and it just looked really good. And then this I'm going to cut my own pork chops out of. Um, I've been doing that and I really like it. So uh, one thing in toilet paper, one thing of ramen. There's one recipe. We don't use the little seasoning packets, but I like the noodles out of there. And then Sam's Club did not have um, Kleenex at all. So I ended up just getting four boxes to get us through until I can buy in bulk again. And then napkins. All right, last but not least is some random stuff I got at Meyer. Um, this is just stuff that I can't get at Aldi and I would have normally gotten it at Walmart, but like I said, I couldn't get a pickup order in, in time. So weirdly, Aldi did not have any cream of mushroom or cream of chicken. Um, this is a lot of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I don't use all this in a month, um, but there are a couple of holiday recipes that call for it. And I had taken some out of food storage because I forgot last month. And just wanted to replenish it. Bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, hoisin sauce. I use this for one recipe. I prefer the petite diced, and Aldi just doesn't do petite diced, so I try to always get my diced tomatoes there. Um, I do can tomatoes too, but I don't can enough to, um, you know, never buy tomatoes. Green chilies, a uh, recipe that tamale recipe calls for a seven ounce can, so just decided to go ahead and get that. Um, two of my kids love Chick-fil-A sauce. We haven't had bananas in a long time and they just sounded good. This is my favorite red curry paste. It's really good, you can use it in lots of different things. Um, my Meyer had like no selection on rice. They had no wild rice, which I need for a recipe, so I'm going to have to go back and try to find that somewhere else. And then I just want to make sure that I had enough sushi rice. 
Um, and they only had this little weird container, but that's fine. I'll use it. I was starving. This is the sushi that I got. Um, this actually I got from Aldi. They were like $1.59, but I was snacking on those in the car and they got mixed in. Garlic, just because I don't like to buy it from Aldi because it comes from China and you should always buy garlic that has the root still attached. So that's why I buy that there. And then Aldi does have frozen broccoli. They just didn't have any this time. And so I got these bigger bags of steamable ones. I like those. Got some mandarins. Just trying to get some fruit that the kids haven't had lately. Then I just stocked up on some toiletry type stuff. This is my favorite lotion. They had this scent, which I've never seen before. So I'm gonna try that. Just some more various lotions for the kids. And then wanted to stock up on some deodorants. And actually I use this kind of deodorant because it's aluminum free. And I just pick out the ones that don't smell super mannish. Just a couple of things to keep in the like medicine cabinet. These are like um, Zycam. We really like those when you feel a cold coming on. And then some more feminine products. That is everything. Thanks for watching. I hope I gave you some ideas. If you um, need to refer back, I do have a menu plan for the month. I will have to make a couple of modifications if I can't find the wild rice. And then also, um, I was not about to pay the price that they wanted for a chuck roast, like a roast beef. Um, so I'm definitely waiting till our cow comes because I'm not paying. Uh, it would have been over $30 for a chuck roast, so not doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!